everyone, it's Miss Catherine from Poughkeepsie Farm Project and I'm at home today um, and I wanted to share a project I'm working on with you because um, I'm doing one of my favorite things which is gardening and I miss seeing all my students and gardening with you all so hopefully this is something that can get you excited about something to do at home. But I've been getting a lot of questions about starting a garden at home and today I'm going to show you one of our favorite things, growing carrots from seed in a container. So if you have um, any kind of pot or container at home in a sunny spot where, you, where you'll remember to take care of them every day, then you have everything you need and you can get started today. So why did I pick carrots? Other than the fact that they're super delicious and healthy, they're also uh, our April harvest of the month at the farm and that's because you can plant them when it's still really cold out, um, like it is right now in New York. You can also eat the whole plant. So you've got your roots that you can eat that everybody loves. You can also eat the green tops, the leaves, and you can use those like you would use parsley to flavor a soup or make a dip with. Um, so the whole plant is very nutritious and you can use the same method I'm gonna show you today to plant other things like radishes or turnips, which we also know and love, and you can eat the whole plant for those too. So you're gonna do the same thing um, to grow any of these in a container at home. Okay, so here's everything you'll need. You're going to need a container that's at least 10 inches deep, minus 12 inches across. You'll want some good potting soil because it's lighter and airier than garden soil. You'll need a watering can or a cup with holes punched in it that you can use to gently water and some carrot seeds. So I'm showing two types of seeds that I use here on the right. Those are some black nebula carrots that are black on the outside and purple on the inside and then some regular orange carrots. So you can find just about any type you'd like. They all taste great. They're all very good for you. Um, so grow the ones you think you'll like. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is fill your pot up with about this much soil. So you just wanna leave a little bit of room at the top for watering. And then uh, you wanna make sure you don't press down too much because the carrots are the root. So you want them to be able to push through the soil really easily. But after that, you're gonna get it nice and wet. And the reason I do that is because that if you wet it beforehand, then you don't have to worry about your seeds floating away after you plant them. So just give it a nice good drizzle there with your watering can. And then we'll let that soak in. Okay, so the next step is very important. You're going to look at your seed packet and it's always going to tell you how far apart to plant your seeds and how deep to plant your seeds. So for these carrots, the depth is one fourth of an inch and the plant spacing is two inches. So you're basically just going to sprinkle them on top and just press them in when it says a quarter of an inch because that's really small if you look at a ruler. Um, and some people just sprinkle them all over and then pull some out, but I like to actually space mine out so I use less seeds. So that's what I'm going to do. And for these tiny seeds like carrots, I like to pour them in my hand first because you can see they're a lot easier to grab from your hand than the seed packet. So we're going to go ahead and start planting them. So you can see I've gone around here about every two inches and just used my finger to press into the soil and it doesn't have to be perfect friends and then you're just going to sprinkle and you may or may not be able to see this one or two seeds into every hole um, until you've got them all covered and then you can either sprinkle a little more soil on top or just do like this very gently you know press down on a tiny bit make sure your seeds are all covered and that's going to be everything that is done for planting. So here's a picture of how they're going to look when they start to germinate and grow. And on the left, you'll see they, they look a little bit like grass when they first come up. And then they get their true leaves, which are the carrot tops we're used to seeing in the middle. Um, and when they're about ready to harvest, the top of the root should pop out of the soil. And that'll give you a good idea how big it is and if you want to go ahead and harvest it or not. Um, but if you're not sure how long they'll take and you, you want to take a look at your seed packet, that'll tell you the number of days from when you planted them until when they're ready to pull out. So friends, once you're done and you've tamped down gently on your soil to make sure there's good contact, you're just going to want to keep an eye on these every day. Use your watering can to gently water. And if, if they don't sprout in the 10 days or so that it says on your packet, don't give up because mine have taken much longer than that before so they will grow um, and then 
that's all there really is to it. We'll do another video when we have some carrots to show you how to harvest them. Um, but until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, take care of your plants, and I look forward to learning with you more. We've got plenty of videos on our website, or you can follow us on social media and see more of our content there. Bye, you guys.